Hey, thanks for checking this video out. As written out there, this is my new to me 1971 Ford F-250 project truck. I've been an admirer of classic steel for a while and I'm really stoked to be a new bump side owner. I'm not claiming to be a mechanic in any way, but I'm just having a lot of fun learning new skills along the way here. I'm slowly making little improvements to this Ford and in this video, I show taking this dome light housing out. Actually finding a bulb in there that works, it was just popped out, so putting that back in, and then on to fixing the driver's side door jam courtesy switch, and that activates or deactivates this light when the door opens and closes. With connectors like this, a little dielectric grease is a good idea, just be careful not to smear it on the actual glass of the bulb. So then I'll disconnect that dome light housing there, unplugging the wire. And the way that this system works, the bulb goes in, pushes in, and spring depresses down where it connects, and it turns to the right in these little grooves. It was extraordinarily tight. I moved on to this clamp system that depressed that spring, pulled that spring down, and made the connection quite a bit easier. Give everything a good wipe down and then reinstall it. So as mentioned, I'm not a professional mechanic. You can see we got a little arc and spark going on. I didn't have a fuse puller handy, although I tried removing the fuse with pliers. I just didn't want to break it, so I disconnected the battery. And now the bulb and dome light housing goes back in. And reconnect the battery, and it functions. So now it's on to checking out these courtesy switches. The passenger side looks good. The driver's side was cracked, not functioning, and uh, I did go to LMC truck and order a new one. Kind of in the interim while, you know, waiting for it to arrive, I kind of MacGyvered this setup. Tried a dowel too big, but I found these grommets that I had and some electrical tape, and I kind of built up a temporary post. It's fun working in this uh, Montana early winter cold front. So we're sitting in the high teens this first day. So then less than a week later, my LMC order arrived and I uh, grabbed a couple door switches just to have backups in the future. Alongside a new rear view mirror that I'll add to the pickup later. I'm gonna add this part number in the description below. And again, I didn't want to break that fuse, so just disconnect the battery cables before starting to work here. That'll, that'll work. And when you take things off, do take note of the switch connection orientation. That's quite important, as you'll see here in a minute. So I took that old faulty switch out, and, and apologies throughout for the iPhone vertical filming, poor camera angles. I, I plan on sharing more of these DIY do-it-yourself project videos to the channel, so I'm going to get better at production as I go. So we connect things back up. Get the battery hooked up again. But I'm not getting light on that courtesy switch, the door, the new door jam switch. But it functions off this. So disconnect again, and here's where that, that orientation comes into play. So I just flipped it around. Reconnected. And then we'll give it another go. success. There it is. It's awesome how these little projects like this can make quite a big difference on usability of any vehicle. Have fun making things and working on your own projects. Thanks for checking the video out. 